Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today we're going to continue talking about what to expect after the crawl space is encapsulated. And one of the big questions we get is how often should I maintain or maintenance my dehumidifier after the encapsulation is complete? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, crawl space dehumidifiers, and waterproofing. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, follow us on Facebook if you're looking to do this yourself, check out our DIY store, and also we'd love to talk to you if you're an entrepreneur or looking to start your own business. Just to clear the air, April Air honors the warranty if you as a DIYer buy the crawl space dehumidifier from us, the warranty is still honored. Just wanted to throw that out there because that's a question that comes up very often, okay? We've got it worked out with April Air. You can call our customer service at the DIY if you have issues with your dehumidifier and you purchased it from us. It's still under warranty. So let's get into talking about that dehumidifier. Yes, you probably need a dehumidifier in your crawl space, especially if you live in a very humid environment like we do in the South or somewhere where the humidity gets above 60, 70 percent three, four months out of the year. Just because you're getting humidity high three or four months out of the year doesn't mean you don't need a dehumidifier. You still need one during those three or four months out of the year. So maintaining the dehumidifier properly. Remember, it is what controls the environment, controls the humidity to keep the wood moisture level down, and can even address standing water on plastic and different things like that. Because once you get a humidity problem in your crawl space, all the wood starts absorbing that humidity, the wood starts to grow mold, your insulation starts to get wet and drip and stalactite and starts to just look horrible in the crawl space. And then it also affects your air quality. High humidity can make dust mites grow out of control. It can cause your energy bills to spike because your HVAC has to work harder in the summer whenever it's trying to cool your house to pull that high humidity out. So having a properly maintained dehumidifier all the time is very important. But first, let me give you some installation tips. Number one, I would put it in a place in the crawl space that you can get to. It may not be the best place to control the humidity per se, but if you put it in the back and you never go back there and maintain it, then you're gonna have issues because you just won't feel like going back there. So try to get it close to the door and then position to blow the dry air out towards the main part of the crawl space, okay? So you want the air to blow towards the larger part of the crawl space, the dry air, and then have the intake towards the smaller part of the crawl space whenever you're installing the dehumidifier. Also, you wanna make sure you have a condensate pump. Something else I haven't mentioned before is that whenever you buy the April Air dehumidifier from us and the condensate pump from us, April Air actually honors that condensate pump for five years too. If you were to go out to Home Depot and buy a condensate pump, typically they only have about a one year warranty. So if you buy the package deal where you get the dehumidifier and the condensate pump together, both are covered for five years. So make sure you have that dehumidifier gravity drain into the condensate pump, and then that condensate pump will push the rest of the water out into the yard and make sure you push that water at least probably 15 feet away from the foundation, hopefully going down a hill so that the water will drain properly away from your foundation. Or if you have a sump pump in the crawl space, you can drain the dehumidifier into the sump pump. So properly maintaining the dehumidifier looks like this. Most dehumidifiers have a filter. You wanna change it out or wash it if it's a washable filter every six months. Because believe it or not, the dehumidifier does a really good job of controlling dust in the crawl space every time it turns on, it's filtering the air. Make sure you clean out that condensate pump. It builds up zuglia, which is kind of like a bacteria inside the piping. So you wanna make sure that the gravity feed from the dehu to the condensate pump is cleaned out and then the condensate pump itself is cleaned out. We got some tablets that you can put in those things to, to help control zuglia, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't require a whole lot of maintenance other than that. Change out the filters, make sure all the waterways are clear for the, the water to move through the condensate pump by getting rid of that zuglia. Do it twice a year, and you should have a low humidity crawl space all year long. And of course, if you're a customer of Crawl Space Ninja, we offer that as an additional service, and it extends the warranty of the dehumidifier whenever you have us do it. Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, we hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.